With SAP Business One, version for SAP HANA, comes a powerful interactive analysis tool helping users explore and investigate more information before making decisions. This ad hoc interactive reporting tool uses Microsoft Excel pivot tables connected to five pre-delivered cubes that we've built against SAP Business One data, making interactive analysis quick and simple. It enables users to create and run reports without requiring IT support. In SAP Business One, we simply navigate to the interactive analysis menu to access the pre-built semantic layers, which include a cost center analysis, cost account versus financial accounting analysis, sales revenue analysis, sales opportunity analysis, and budget analysis, including any further analytical views and cubes which have been created for specific customer reporting requirements, which can also be added to the interactive analysis menu. For example, let's show you how easy and simple it is to analyze sales revenue performance by sales employee, sales amount, and by posting year. By selecting the sales revenue analysis, interactive analysis report, this automatically launches Microsoft Excel, connecting to SAP Business One data displayed using pivot tables. The sales revenue analysis is the semantic layer and all methods of analyzing, including sales employee, sales amount and posting year, are attributes and values. These attributes and values can be used as KPIs for companies tracking performance. Let's view the current sales revenue performance of our sales employee Sophie Clogg against her colleagues over the past few years. So from the pivot table list, we're going to select sales amount, which is our revenue measure, we're then going to select the posting date by year. And then we're going to select the sales employee, which we're going to use as our report filter. In order to filter by sales employee, we simply click on the attribute name, and then we have the ability to drill down and select the sales employee that we would like to measure the performance against. We've now created a table by defining which values to view and how these attributes should be displayed. Based on these selections, Microsoft Excel aggregates and organizes the data so you can see a different view of your data. You may also want to filter a specific year or years for analysis. So for example, we can click on posting date year and we can simply select, for example, if we want to review the revenue performance of Sophie Clogg over the past two years. As you can see, in 2013, Sophie Clogg has generated a revenue amount close to $775,000. Back in SAP Business One, we're now going to create another accounts receivable invoice against the sales employee Sophie Clogg in order to demonstrate how easy it is to refresh the data displayed in our report. To do this, we're going to create a sales accounts receivable invoice. We're going to select the sales employee, Sophie Clogg. And then by adding the invoice to the SAP Business One system, we can then simply navigate back to our interactive analysis report. And by navigating to the data tab and selecting refresh, we can quickly see that our data has been refreshed accordingly and her sales amount figures have changed. You can then simply save the data and share your report analysis. So check out the pre-built interactive analysis reports in SAP Business One, version for SAP HANA, 
and improve productivity by putting the user in control of information.